Thanks so much for joining us right here on The Right View. We have a great show tonight. Before we start, I want to tell you about one of our sponsors, Balance of Nature. If you know anything about me, you know that I take my health very seriously. One of the ways I stay healthy is taking Balance of Nature's fruits and veggies in a capsule. They have an amazing story of how this product was developed by Dr. Douglas Howard. Balance of Nature receives over a thousand success stories every single month. They have hundreds of thousands of customers who have purchased billions of capsules of their fruits and veggies over the past 20 years. You should check it all out on their website. Their products are gluten-free and non-GMO, and they contain no added sugars or synthetics. If you're looking for something to make you feel better naturally, you should definitely give Balance of Nature a try. In fact, you can order today. And whether you order online or call them directly, you can use the promo code LARA to get this special offer of 35% off, plus $10 off any additional sets, plus free shipping and their money-back guarantee. You can call them at 800 800- 246-8751 and use the discount code LARA or order online at balanceofnature.com and use discount code L-A-R-A to get 35% off. Tonight, we are so excited. We are joined by entrepreneur, author, media personality, member of the Duck Dynasty family. I don't even think you need an introduction. Just put them up there. Willie Robertson. Willie. Welcome. I feel like your uh, your image precedes you. Like as soon as people see you, are they like, wait a minute, are you the Duck Dynasty guy? Is that how this goes for you? You know how many times I hear that? Uh, <laughs> a lot. Here's another one. Yeah. But that's that's how people know you, right? Like this is, you, you guys started with that and it kind of like took off. Did you ever expect any of this to happen? Like your entire family became these reality TV stars. And I'm just curious, like, what what's that like? You went from from like kind of unknown to just like astronomical, <laughs> out of out of control. How was it? It was it was crazy, uh, really nuts. No, we never expected any of that. Um, uh, I did cut my hair back in 2020, um, and it was kind of nice. I was able to. <laughs> I didn't cut the beard completely off. I just shortened. Could it a you bit. could you go places more easily? Oh, heck yeah. I could go everywhere. So I just have grown it, uh, grown it out a little bit. And um, yeah, I'm kind of back in form now. And uh, it's fun. Yeah, we, we, no idea. You know, there's no playbook for this. You, you know, yeah. once, once the TV show happened, um, it, it got, it got, it got real quick uh, for sure. How did it start? Like, how did somebody, were you approached by people? How did this all start? You know, it was so interesting. We were, so we had always videoed our duck hunts all the way back to the eighties. So we had VHS tapes, then these, and, um, and then we did a show on, um, outdoor channel and it was actually my wife's idea to do television. Uh, she says, Willie, uh, y'all should, your family should do a reality TV show. None, None of us watch reality TV except for her. And I said, Corey, we're just a normal family. Like I, I was like, who would watch us? And she goes, Willie, y'all aren't normal. And, and I guess that was my first clue into, oh, maybe there's something here. We did a show on the Outdoor Channel for three years, which was kind of like duck hunting and reality mixed. And um, and then I got an email to the general information box at duckcommander.com, said, I'm a producer in Los Angeles. I've watched your show on Outdoor Channel. I think you'll have a really big show. And it almost got thrown away. My secretary was like, do you, do you want to respond or do you want, you know, you want to chunk it? And I said, I'll respond. Wow. And good, good decision. Yeah. We made a little sizzle reel and then I had to go talk my dad into it. Uh, he was, he didn't think it would work at all. And I said, well, we can try that. You know, I think they'll pay us, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, so yeah, we, and we, we made two pilot episodes and I don't even think the network realized what they had. You know, they called and were like, we didn't, we, Nobody knew it was going to be funny and like this family show. I think they'd seen our photos and thought we, we may be a little more. Um, I, I think everybody thought we were just kind of country bumpkins, which I guess we are. But it was like they didn't see Nothing the whole wrong with family. That. Yeah, they didn't see the whole family aspect and the business side of it. And uh, but they even off the two pilots, they picked up 13 episodes side unseen, which was a real I think it was their biggest pickup at the time. And uh, the guy knew he was like. This is going to be a big show, and sure enough, it was. 
And tell me about the family business. When you went to college, was your goal to ultimately help the family business when you were done? Or did you have different ideas while you were in school? What what, what was your plan if none of this had happened? Uh, <laughs> the last thing I planned on doing was working with the family business. Um, so we grew up doing this business. So we were basically the employees, even as little children. Uh, we answered the phone. We made the duck calls. We folded boxes. And I was like, I am not doing this. And so uh, <laughs> I didn't plan on it. I only went to college because uh, Corey's, Corey's father, we, we got married at 19 and 18, and uh, he strongly persuaded me to go to college. And uh, uh, no, I, I got my degree. You're going to like this. This my, I have a degree in a, it's a non-certified to teach PE degree. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, that's a thing. And um, so, <laughs> so. And I spent like six years getting it, but I, I figured it was the easiest degree I could get. Um, I thought I would, uh, at the time I was running our, our summer camp for kids, uh, as a little Christian camp that my mm -hmm. wife's family had started. Um, and so I thought I may be a coach. I, I didn't know what I would do. And so it wasn't until I was 30 that I, I thought, okay, I think I can actually go be successful in business. And so I left that job, took over the company. Um, and then, yeah. And the, once the TV show happened, uh, I guess a lot of stuff, the, a lot of my wrongs were proven right after that. <laughs> so wow. Maybe. So you know, you never made it to PE teacher then, huh? I never, well, I'm not even certified to teach. Oh, I you're not. I, it's not <laughs> certified. So I spent six all that time. Other period. people, Willie, other people go to school for six years. They're called doctors. I'm just kidding. Exactly. No, I love it. It's I, amazing. I get it, but I can't even teach PE, which is rolling balls out in the gym and watching kids play. I can't even do that. So. <laughs> Gosh, but it worked out. It worked out. <laughs> that's yeah. Listen, it all seems like it panned out for you. Uh, to be honest, in like the back of my mind, somewhere, obviously, I'm like this crazy fitness lover, and I do all kinds of athletic endeavors. I was always sort of like, you know, it might be kind of cool one day. When I got to college, the first year of college, I was like, what? I got to decide everything now. I was 17 when I started college. It's terrifying. And in the back of my mind, somewhere, I was kind of like. I mean, I guess like I, I like sports. I could ultimately be a PE teacher, but God, you're making it seem like maybe that. Thank God I didn't go down that path because I don't know. It sounds like it was a little rough. I guess you could have. Yeah. I mean, I had watched dad. He kind of did. Now, dad has a master's degree, which is insane. But um, he that kind of figured out what he loved to do. And that's what he ended up like doing as his job. He wanted to hunt and fish and he figured that out. And so I thought, well, that was pretty smart. And so I thought. I, I wanted to get the degree, uh, but, and then I figured, I figured it would happen. Something would happen. And pop <laughs> it up. Would, something would work out. By yeah. the way, you know, you know who else, uh, and I'm sure you already know this, would basically like to make a, a, a career out of hunting and fishing is my brother-in-law, Don Jr. I think you're pretty familiar with that, aren't you? <laughs> Is that not what he does? I didn't know he did, <laughs> didn't know he did anything else besides hunt and fish. Uh, yeah. Everywhere I go, he just came through. It was like, oh, Don Jr. was just here. Yeah. And so I was like, does he work at all? I, I'm, I'm technically getting paid for it. So, uh, yeah. I well, have have to, ask, Don, ask Don the next time you see him if he's if he's made any money off of that. I love that for him. <laughs> um, you have, by the way, you've done some great, great stuff. You've written several books. You're a CEO, obviously, as we're talking about. You public speak around the country. You're a father. And you just told me you're a grandfather of seven, Willie. Are you kidding me? Seven. And you're 51 years old. Yes. Well, that's, How do you find that's, time that's, for anything? That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. It is a lot, but it's super fun. It's, you know, I love them. And uh, yeah, it's keeping me younger. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I just read a, uh, I just wrote a new book uh, called Gospeller. Uh, it's coming out. In about a month, and uh, yeah, so I worked hard on that, and yeah, I, li I love writing, and so I've done that. And TV, we do production um, as well. Our movie, The Blind, came out uh, in September and did really well. Uh, kind of the, the journey of Phil and Kay and uh, how they came to faith, and so yeah, it's there's a lot on the plate right now, but it's it's fun, you know. I I, I got to be honest with you, I know about having a lot on your plate all at once. It seems like. <laughs> Right. Like that's how life happens. Sometimes you just take it as it comes. And I feel like for me, sometimes it's not even like a day by day thing. It's more of like an hour by hour thing as to like how you break up life and get through things. But you get you get through them. It's it's sort of it's amazing. A minute, a minute. And you're probably you're probably like me. I mean, once you get used to that, that pace, yeah. you know, 
uh, you got to keep gotta, going. You know, you got to have all. Everything's got to run really smoothly. So, so we've got a Corey and I have a great team, and uh, and we work together, which is interesting. And so, I know you guys know about that too. So, it's all a big family business. And but hey, we we've been doing that our whole lives, and so we've really gotten used to it, and used to the pace. And uh, man, there's just so many good opportunities uh, out there to to jump into. And so much of ours is 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 tied with faith. And so it's kind of what we would do anyway. And now my kids, uh, a lot of them are working at the company now. So now, you know, I get to see them up there at work. And so it's fun. I want to ask you about your faith, but first we're going to take a very quick commercial break. Nobody move. All right. I hate to interrupt the show, but I need to tell you about AMAC. AMAC is an organization dedicated to America's seniors, but it's vital for conservatives of all ages. AMAC stands out by not only advocating for senior issues, but also by pushing for conservative values that affect us all. By joining, you're not just supporting our senior citizens, you're part of a movement defending our freedoms and securing our nation's future. As a member, you can enjoy benefits tailored to you, exclusive discounts, trusted news, sweepstakes, and much more regardless of your age. If you're driven to preserve freedom, AMAC welcomes you. This is about uniting youthful vigor with the wisdom of experience and our quest for conservative principles. Sign up now at amac.us slash L-A-R-A. And for a limited time, get a free gift membership for someone who shares your love for our great nation. Don't miss the chance to make a difference with AMAC. Join today at amac.us slash Lara and extend the invitation to a friend or family member for free. All right, Mike Lindell has a passion to help you get the best sleep of your life. After he invented the world's best pillow, he created the famous Giza Dream Sheets. They're the best sheets you will ever sleep on. And for a limited time, you can get a queen set for $59.98, a king set for just $69.98. This is the lowest price in history. Mike and my pillow continue to be canceled by big box stores and attacked by the media. They appreciate all of your great support during these times and want to thank you by giving you free shipping on your entire order today. To get these specials, go to MyPillow.com or call 800-624-3945 and use promo code TRUMP. You get the famous Giza Dream Sheets, queen size for only $59.98 and king size for just $69.98. You will also get 60% off the original My Slippers. So call 800 624 3945 or go to mypillow.com and use promo code TRUMP for free shipping today. So you, you've talked several times already about your faith. Tell me, Willie, about faith and the role that it plays in your life because it's obviously sort of a pillar of, of everything for you. Yeah, it's number one. Uh, we were taught that uh, as children. And then more importantly, we saw that lived out. And so, uh, in fact, on the movie The Blind, you see this uh, dramatic turn that Phil and Kay make from, I mean, their marriage was over. It was completely over. Um, had Faith not been a part and stepped in and uh, Phil obeying the gospel, then my whole life would look completely different. And that's one of the main reasons that we always um, uh try to stay faithful is because we realize without it, our family wouldn't have even stayed together. So you wouldn't have had a commander. You wouldn't have had a Duck dynasty TV show. My life would look completely different. And uh, uh, so, yeah, I really appreciate that. That really uh, instilled in me that and uh, instilled that in our children. And, you know, yeah, that's what sustains us. And that's, that's kind of the big motivator for everything we do and, uh, and try to tell other people about it as well. And so, Yep. I, well, I love that you do that. And, and obviously you, you're talking about the, the movie, the blind, and you've given us a little bit of information about it, but how did that project come about? Um, was this something you thought a long time, like, Hey, we should kind of tell this story. How did that work out? No, not really. We, so Corey and I started a production company, um, along with my cousin and, and my cousin's mom, my, my aunt, she's passed away now, but she played an integral role in that, uh, with, with, um, getting Phil uh, to hear the gospel. And so we started a production company really after Doug Dynasty, we were like, wow, we had so, you know, obviously the success of it, but we thought um, we need more positive TV. You know, we need TV that people can watch and, you know, with their kids and their grandparents. And so we, we set off to do that. We really wasn't, it wasn't going to focus on us at all, but so we talk, started talking about doing movies and we were like, we could tell the story of Phil and Kay, but it, it seemed like, 
well, we just did a show about our family. And so uh, I'm glad we did it. And I'm glad we did it while mom and dad are still alive and could see it and be a part of it. And um, yeah, that, and we had to get that right. You know, we made it ourselves. And so we had to get it right because uh, to tell that story. And it, it turned out great. It just, you know, it's inspired tons of people. And uh, just the, the feedback we've gotten has been crazy. And even in the theaters, like there was spontaneous baptism it was like crazy stuff oh, so wow. it, was, it was really awesome yeah to, to hear all the stories about it well and you know what i love to i love to make sure that for me i think it's it's important that these these stories and, and people's lives are, are sort of passed down because if you don't retell them somehow if you don't write a book or you don't put them in a movie or documentary or something people they're they're gone forever and it's it's you know it's amazing to do that and commemorate, you know, people you love or, or important moments and things like that. So I love, I love that you did that. I think that's, that's fantastic. Um, and, it, and it wasn't about the show, you know, it was the, yeah. the ends in like 1980. It was just that story. Cause again, like if that doesn't happen, I mean, just think of all the things it's that lost. happened. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gone. So I know. No, that's I, fantastic. Good for you for, for doing it. Um, you're a successful business owner. And a reality TV star. Now, Willie, I know someone else who has a similar resume to that. Um, <laughs> is there a chance that we see Willie Robertson running for office at some point in your life? What do you think? No. Uh, well, I, you should never say no. But uh, I've, I've, I've learned a lot about enough about politics to know. I don't know if I want to to be in that right, uh, you know, in that fight. Um, it's so nice. They make it so pleasant and easy and it's clean. Uh, and, oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's so hard. Yeah. yeah. People going to it. I, I gotta take my hat off to them. So, uh, uh, no, I, I really don't, I don't have any, um, aspirations at this point. I, I'll never say never, but, uh, I'm close to saying never. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you. Believe me, we have seen some things and it's amazing to think back, you know, eight years ago, most of this stuff, if you would have come to me and said this, 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 and this are going to happen, I would have said, you're crazy. Never. And, and now they have come it's to fruition. Been, it's amazing. It's quite the journey. <laughs> it has been, it certainly has been a journey. Now, speaking of back in 2016, during the primary, some of your family supported Ted Cruz initially, and then you decided to back my father-in-law. So I have to know, just clear this up for us. Did it cause any tension with the family at that time? What was happening? With the no, well, no, no tension, but it, it's <laughs> one of my favorite stories. Um, so your brother-in-law was coming down to hunt with us and we had it all set up. He was going to duck hunt and, um, uh, so I go out of the, I go to Mexico and we've got this set up. And so I'm getting my bags. I'm fixing to come back to America. I get an unknown call because it was in Mexico. I don't know who it is. It's like Russian. I'm just like, hello. And this dude is talking so fast. And I know he's not like within 500 miles of where I live. He's obviously from the North and he's talking fast and he's shook up. And I'm like, I said, hang on, hang on. I said, who is this? And he goes, it's Don Jr. <laughs> And he goes, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to come hunt. And I said, what happened? And he goes, well, it's because of what your dad did. And I went, oh, I've been gone for three days. I'm like, what did he do? Like, I, I still don't know how my dad does anything because he doesn't have a phone or a computer. He lives on the end of a dead end street. And he goes, he just backed Ted Cruz. And I'm like, what? Oh gosh. And I'm like, I, I had no idea. Nobody told me. And so I called my mother and I'm like, mom. Did, did Phil back Ted Cruz? She said, oh, yeah, he knew you'd be mad about it. They brought a bunch of cameras down here. And I said, oh, no. And then dad says, so dad on the thing says, I'm voting for Cruz. And all of us are. And I said, mom, he can't say all of us are vote. Like, what is that? He can't speak for all of us. And she goes, no, 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 not for you. He meant for all the Christians. I said, mom, I am a Christian. <laughs> And wow. so we kind of, we, I kind of poked fun at him because, and so I called Hannity and I said, Hannity, put, put us on We're you know, Phil's behind Cruz and I'm on Trump. And so, cause I had Phil totally set up. And so I get Phil on, on Hannity. And I go, Hey, Phil, who's the better duck hunter? Cause your brother-in-law came and hunted. And <laughs> Phil said, no doubt about it. That cat from New York can shoot on Trump. And so it was so funny uh, that, and then ultimately, Phil comes on board, but we yeah, got it's on board. Is how it all, uh, how it all happened, but no, no big ref. We, we, you know, 
We, so we pretty much get along about most things. So good. Well, that's, that's it. It's okay. And listen, I'm just going to throw it out there now. If there's anyone watching or listening to this who hasn't been on the team so far, you are still always welcome to come join Team Trump. We're happy to have everybody, Willie. I'm just <laughs> going to put it out there for anyone listening. It's a big tent. We want everybody to come in because everyone should want to save this country. Um, you're so fun. You're awesome. Thank you for taking some time to talk with us. How can people keep up with what you got going on? Uh, I have no idea. So uh, they can <laughs> run somewhere. I do have my book, Gospeller, coming out, which I'm excited about that. It's about it's about sharing your faith. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get that out. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I speak a lot, and I'm all over. And um, we'll uh, we got all kinds of things going on. And I got to go cook some crawfish tonight. I got a big shindig going oh. on. So. All right, you're doing. I'm like you. Maybe you are right. We're so busy, but we have to find time to cook. So I, I know, know I know you share that with with me as well. Well, don't ask my husband about what I'm cooking because I already <laughs> ordered sushi for dinner. So anywho, <laughs> uh, I know don't don't. It's the worst. Willie Robertson, you are great. Thank you for everything, and uh, we appreciate you spending some time with us today. And to everybody at home, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And we'll see you back here next time for more of the Right View. And I won't back down Nothing is worse than being on a phone call that drops. Nothing is worse than trying to text someone and you can't reach them because your phone is out of service range. And nothing is worse than supporting these major corporations and companies who don't support us. That is why I love Patriot Mobile. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless network. They use every cell tower out there available to all networks so that they have the greatest 4G and 5G coverage nationwide, and they support the causes that are important to us as conservatives. If you go today to patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump and use the promo code Trump, you will get free activation today. Again, that is patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump. The promo code is Trump for free activation so that you can get a great cell plan and feel good about doing it.